rain, 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 and more rain, pure rain. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, I tell you, St. Lucia, St. Lucia, pure rain over there. You know, we patiently waited on the CPL 2023, but so far, rain has been the dominant force. Now, last night, we were up to do a watch along between the Guyana Amazon Warriors and the St. Lucia Kings. That game ended up um, being a five over game and they were not even able to complete it. So I'm just going to give you the scorecard up to where they were able to play. And we're also going to take a look at some T10 cricket. We see where Jack Callis, Umar Gould, uh, Fidel Edwards, Mohamed Afiz and quite a few other former cricketers were involved in a Masters game that was played in the USA. You know, Callis getting a half century there. Fidel Edwards bowling a couple of good overs. So, going to talk about that. Plus, we see where uh, Lassif Malinga is now the new bowling coach for the Mumbai Indians. So, just give a listen here until the end. And let me know what you all think. Oh, we also have a game at 10 a.m. Uh, today. Going to give you a couple of players to look out for. Calling it the sports to the bone pick three yeah man go and pick three players from each team so yeah anyway make a go in it so Guyana Amazon Warriors and St. Lucia Kings that was a no result you know rain 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 they eventually decided that they would have played a five over game um the Guyana Amazon Warriors they got a chance to bat you know we would have seen Ayub he got 24 from 16 with three fours and one six Shandapa Hemraj made four from four Azam Khan was in good form. He made 21 of 11 with 1, 4 and 2 sixes. You know, he was able to get a large over there of um, Alzari Joseph. So 56 for 2 is what they put together of their 5 overs. Uh, in terms of the bowling for the St. Lucia Kings, uh, Chris Soul, he bowled 2 overs, picked up 1 wicket, gave away 22 runs. Alzari Joseph, two overs, 26 runs, didn't get any wicket. Jair McAllister, one over, seven runs, and one wicket. I must say that I, I was impressed uh, with Jair McAllister. Uh, they asked him to bowl the final over. You know, anything could have happened. He bowled a couple of good deliveries. One and two little wide in there, but to have given away seven runs only was definitely a good feat. And, you know, he was able to remove... Um, he was able to remove uh, the, the, the batsman with the final delivery. I think he was Azam, yeah, Azam Khan. He was able to produce a, a good yarka and remove Azam Khan there. So that is all she wrote during the interval. You know, the rain came and it never stopped. So uh, all we got was Guyana Amazon Warriors making 56 for two and it just finished right there. All right, let us um, continue into some um, other T20 art. Uh, uh, T20 stuff so tomorrow we will have the I think it's going to be a double header again tomorrow but let's just take a look at the morning game the 10 a.m. game so it's going to be the Jamaica Talawas versus the Barbados Royals that one is set to be a mouth watering clash so just to remind you of the squads quickly the Jamaica Talawas Alex Hales, I doubt he's there as yet though. Brandon King, Jermaine Blackwood, Kurt McKenzie, Shamar Brooks, Ben Cotton, Fabian Allen, Iman Wazim, Raymond Rifa, Salman Richard, uh, Shamar Springer, Steven Taylor, Amir Django, Chris Green, Hayden Walsh Jr., Joshua James, Mohamed Amir, Nicholson Garden. So those are the players that I'm seeing there for the, um, the Jamaica uh, Talawa squad. For the Barbados squad now, Alec Arthur is Kevin Wickham. Uh, Evans, Laurie Evans, Jason Hola, Justin Greaves, Kyle Mears is also there, Rakim Cornwall, um, Van, Van der Murray, uh, Ravman Powell, Donovan Ferreira, Rivaldo Clark is also there, Akim Jordan, Joshua Bishop, Naeem Young, Obed McCoy, Ahmed is there, Raymond and Raymond Simmons. So those are the players that are in that squad. Now a couple of players to watch in this one. Um, I'm going to go with, uh, remember we're calling it pick three, where I'll pick three players from each team. Uh, so once again, I am going with uh, Naeem Young. He didn't look too bad in his first game. 
you know, as a youngster, I'm hoping that they will play him again, hoping that he will get an opportunity to go out there. So I am going with him. And, um, you know, there, there was also another batter. You know, I have a batsman there that didn't look too bad, even though he got out. I think he only made four or six. So Naeem Young definitely want to watch for that game. And, um, you know, I don't know if Alec Arthur is, is fit, so can't really can't really say anything about him as yet you know so um naim young definitely and uh the next one kevin wickham he got an opportunity in the first game he didn't play as if you know he really wanted to play again but um i'm gonna go with him he's he's a talented player you know we, we would have seen him um in the regional in regional cricket he has the ability so i'm gonna go with him so naim young kevin wickham and one senior player that I'm backing against the Jamaica Talawas, I am backing um, Kyle Mears to come good. So I'm gonna go with Kyle Mears. Those are the three guys that I wanna select for today's game. Not the most, not not the three names that will jump off paper, you know. But um, those are the ones that I am working with for my pick three for this team. All right, for the Jamaica Talawas now. Um, Fabian Allen, Fabian Allen, I am I am expecting him if he bats to get uh to get a score this time around. I think the first game he made 15 off a couple of deliveries, then he was run out. So you know Fabian Allen, I'm going with him again. Um, need to go with a youngster. So Fabian Allen, I have him there to do some work for us. Uh, Kurt McKenzie, so we're going with Kurt McKenzie, not necessarily. Uh, up young and upcoming you know he's, he's already played test cricket for West Indies but I'm going with him so Kurt McKenzie Fabian Allen and um, who, else, who else should I go with now for this one so Fabian Allen Kurt McKenzie and I am going to go with uh, I'll go with another senior player Shamar Brooks for some reason I just feel like Shamar Brooks is going to give us one of them um, good score there against his, his, his countrymen you understand so Fabian Allen Shamar Brooks and um, Fabian Allen Fabian Allen Shamar Brooks and uh, who's the next one that I had there uh, Fabian Allen Shamar Brooks and uh, Kurt McKenzie so those are the ones that I'm working with for this one so you know 10 o'clock the game starts so uh, let's see you know how many out of who I have selected will actually get some some good work in all right moving on quickly so I said that I was gonna share with you all a t10 game that was played and it was played between the California Knights the California Knights and the Texas Chargers and the California Knights actually won that game courtesy of uh, Jack Callis he made 64 not out so I'm um, playing for the California Knights so the California Knights, they batted first and they scored 158 for one. So 158 for one. Um, Aaron Finch opened up with Jack Callis. Finch didn't score. Callis made 64 from 31. Eight fours and three sixes rolling back the years there. Callis was supported by Milid uh, Kumar, who was left not out on 76 of 28. Seven fours and six sixes. So those guys putting together a very good um, partnership there. And bowling for the other team, Fidel Edwards, the former West Indies uh, pacer. He bowled two overs, 24 runs, one wicket. We also saw Sir, uh, Sir, Sir Hill Tanvir, two overs, 29 runs. We had Imran Khan, he bowled two overs, 24 runs. Uh, Umar Ghul, he bowled uh, two overs, gave away 32 runs. Darren Stevens won over 17 runs so that is how it went for that um, innings there when it was time for the Chargers to bat now they were actually bowled out for a hundred well they were restricted to 110 for 8 110 for 8 and batting for them uh, batting for, for the for the Chargers uh, let me see if I can pull up the, the Chargers batting here so batting for the Chargers we had Mohamed Afis he opened and he made two. Ahmed, Mokatar Ahmed, he made 33 from 10. So some good batting there. One four and four sixes in the mix. 
and we would have seen um, Ben Dunk getting 18 and Upal Taranga getting 27 from 19 not out but they just fell short bowling for Kalis's team now uh, Ricardo Powell he bowled one over actually so Ricardo Powell bowled one over and he was uh, able to pick up a wicket you know um, yeah man uh, Ashley Nurse Ashley Nurse actually got 3 for 12 so Ashley Nurse was a pick of the bowlers there Suleiman Ben bowled 2 overs 19 runs and 1 wicket as they were able to secure victory and just to finish those who follow the IPL Lasif Malinga will be the new head bowling coach for the Mumbai Indians as he you know he, he was selected there so uh, Malinga will be running the show we know that he won a couple of titles I think he won about four or five titles with them so he's actually taking over from Shane Bond so um, shout out to Malinga there so that is pretty much it for this one my viewers and subscribers gonna leave it right here for now big up